Have you ever noticed that some musicians progress faster than others, mastering their instruments at a younger age? Practicing is important, but even more important is your rate of progress. Some may speak of talent, but there's something else that can make up for talent and that is in our control. And much more than with our physical capabilities, it has to do with what goes on inside our brain, our thought choices, our mentality. This three video series, Psychology of the Masters, is intended to bring scientifically proven facts from the field of psychology into musical education, as suggested mental approaches observed to improve one's rate of progress and that yet are rarely covered by most musical instructors. The subjects to be covered are, in the first video, mentality and learning curve. In the second video, acquiring technique and physical control. And on the third one, creativity. So I'm gonna cut right to the chase. The brain state that presents the fastest learning curve is that of a child. So one must identify and imitate that psychological perspective in the sense of being in a total relaxed, curious, playful way, dreaming that you could be great while without the pressure of owing it to anyone. The ideal psychology is that of fun and pleasure at all times. Even when learning something complex, the joy must be felt at the process of evolution itself. Only then you will have the perseverance to endure the time it takes to become a master. The brain can sustain a peak of absorption for 25 minutes. After that, it starts to drop. When practicing, Shifting subjects or taking breaks are important to reset that optimum focus, getting the most out of the least time. Don't ever force unwanted practice, as it will cost more time for less absorption and it will build a negative sensation related to the instrument that has caused people to quit who could have been great. Also, an optimum brain performance is helped by a healthy lifestyle, physical exercise, good sleep and a good diet, especially including brain foods broccoli, eggs, walnuts, fish, avocado, and etc. Know yourself. This comes from ancient philosophy. Know thyself from Socrates, where knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom from Aristotle. You can apply that in two ways. First, find your own sound. You may learn by copying masters, but ultimately, you must let go of the desire to imitate them and understand your own natural potentials. Recognize and accept your personal experiences and embrace your identity. Only in self-knowledge and acceptance you will have the confidence to unleash your ultimate self, making the best out of your strengths and diving into your own universe of incomparable style and creativity. And number two, know what triggers your motivation. By observing what your personal motivation triggers are and using them, you may create an engine of endless will to engage into practice and growth. Triggers may be listening to recordings, playing with friends, scheduling and preparing for a performance, surrounding yourself with a culture, or the simple thought of becoming a master. Cultivate what these triggers are, because motivation is the single most important ingredient of great achievements. Evolution is said to be challenge plus consistency, and you may assure that by setting medium-term goals. Focusing your time and energy in selected objectives to be completed within the time frame of two to three months may be the greatest strategy for obtaining noticeable evolution. Each achieved goal is a building block towards mastery. A medium-term goal could be the learning or the writing of a musical piece, the transcription and execution of a solo, or the development of a specific technique, etc. Choose it and stick to it. Understand that all great masters are people made of flesh and bones who started from zero just like you. Kill any intimidating thoughts such as I'll never be able to. Keeping your mind on what you want to become while understanding you only have to take one step at a time and you don't have to be better than anyone else. It sounds cliche, but you have no idea how powerful that is. Brain exercise. If you feel you have no time to practice, know that at any time and without the instrument, you may engage into musical exercises in the brain. Just by using your body, you may play games of rhythmic superimposition of independent parts. And using your voice, you may sing intervals and chords. Just through focus, you may develop ear training as well as increase your rhythmic vocabulary while in a traffic jam or when buying groceries. Harmony. When playing, 
Always be harmonically conscious, knowing at all times the present degree and mode you're in, as well as what scale degree the melody is on. This will train your chord and interval recognition, greatly help on absorbing phrases and repertoire, it will strengthen your ability to improvise, and it will open the brain door to constant information absorption. That way, you will acquaint yourself with all harmonic paths you play, acquiring all their knowledge. The brain capacity to learn is increased when paired with emotion. Harmonic modes are emotions. Searching and attributing sensations to harmonic modes will greatly improve one's ability to identify them as well as use them. By identifying a sensation to each mode of a given harmonized scale, every time you hear a chord and have that sensation, you'll associate it with the respective mode. The reverse also becomes true when, in the position of an arranger or composer, one may go for the harmonic mode associated with the sensation he seeks. And lastly, intensify your musical learning with three supporting brain practices. Verbalization, visualization, and overall mindfulness. Words have power. It is powerful to vocalize your intents or simply say them and repeat the words that represent what you wish as a mantra out to the universe. Create visuals of your intent with great clarity so to know your direction. Visualization is the first step for building anything. The creation of reality first happens in the brain and then it manifests out. The brain is like an antenna of electromagnetic resonance which converses with the universe by the vibration of the thoughts it creates. And last, practice mindfulness. Be totally in the present when practicing, aware of yourself, your environment, and without pressure to be better than anyone. Breathing deep for optimum brain oxygenation while conscious of the joy in the endless process of evolution. <laughs>